Guys, for all the solutions of this book, visit forthesakeofeducation.com. I've been working hard of putting all the problems into one convenient place for you to be able to do your homework easily. So pay us a visit. All right, guys, this is a problem that says the uniform plate has a weight of 500 pounds determine the tension in each of the supporting cables. So let's draw the free body diagram for this first, which should look something like this. Oops, do I have the eraser on? Sorry about that. We have a force going up in the C direction, in the positive C direction, another force along the B cable in the positive C direction, and then another on the A, on top of the A going up. But you also have the weight W, which is happening somewhere actually not somewhere, actually exactly in the middle and let's, that's not the middle let's try to draw accurate drawings it's happening exactly at the middle and you know that if I was to cut it in half it would look something like this so the middle would be somewhere over there and it's going straight down use your imagination guys to see 3D and this is the weight which is equal to 500 pounds so this is our free body diagram and we have to figure it out on um, f of a f of b and f of c so let's get to it i'm basically going to do a um, system of equations and then i'm going to solve it using the matrix method you can solve system of equations in different ways but that's just my preferred way so be warm that I like matrices. Now, sum of the forces in the C is equal to zero, right? And we have F of A going up plus F of B plus F of C. Then you have the negative 200 pound force being applied and the weight, which is minus 500. This basically means that F of A plus F of B plus F of C is equal to 700 and that's our first equation we have three variables so we need three equations let's find the second one i'm going to do sum of the moments on the x is equal to zero and i'm going to assume counterclockwise is positive looking at it from this perspective now the first moment that i'm going to do is the moment created by the a cable and that moment is equal to 3 times FA and it's positive because it's trying to turn the assembly counterclockwise along the x-axis which we're watching from on top of it the second moment is 3FC and it's also positive because it's trying to turn it counterclockwise so let me be clear F of A is a force, which is this arrow vector going straight up, and the three comes from the distance from the C, the sorry, the x-axis to the point where the F of A is being applied. F of C is the same idea. It's F of C, which is the the C vector, this vector right here, and the distance between that vector and the x-axis, which is three again because this is rectangular let's keep going the 200 pound force is also happening at the same spot at the same spot 3 I mean at the same distance 3 so it's negative 200 times 3 and it's negative because it's trying to turn the unit clockwise and last but not least is the weight which occurs at the halfway point of the plate which is half of 3 which is 1.5 that's the distance between where the weight vector is um, taking place and the distance between the x uh, axis is 1.5 so minus 500 times 1.5 why is it negative because it's also trying to turn the whole assembly clockwise so this gives us our second equation we're gonna clean it up of course to so be able to use it in my method which is 3fa plus 3fc is equal to 1350 I'm gonna call this equation 2 
Now uh, we have two out of three equations. Let's find another equation, which is assuming counterclockwise is positive, sum of the moments about the y is equal to zero and is equal to no. So now I'm assuming it's positive as if I was looking at it from the top of the y-axis. So the first moment created um, about the y-axis is going to be the fb, which is the force created by the vector v, which is the vector fb, times the distance from the y, so the distance from here to where the vector is taking place, which is 4 feet, the sum 2 and 2 feet. And it's uh, positive because it's trying to turn the assembly. Again, guys, I need you to use your imagination. Um, it's actually trying to turn it clockwise. So I might have made a little mistake here. I'm going to assume that clockwise is positive. So it doesn't matter what you assume to be positive or negative as long as you're consistent. Half of them are going to be positive, half of them are going to be negative. So now the second one is f of c, which is acting at the same distance from the y-axis, which is from here to here, and it's 4 times f c, and it's also positive because it's trying to turn it the same way. Then you have the 200 pound force, which is trying to turn it the opposite way, which is 200 times 2, because that's the distance from the y-axis to here. Sorry, my diagram is getting messy. And then the 500 pound force of the weight, which is also at the halfway point, which is minus 500 times 2, because that's the distance where the halfway point is applied to the y-axis. So when we simplify this equation, it looks something like this. 4fb plus 4fc is equal to 1400. I'm going to call this equation 3. So now we have three variables and three equations. So algebraically, we can do this with um, the math that we should have learned in our previous classes before we got all the way to statics. So I'm going to rewrite the three equations and do all the algebra right here because some of you sometimes need a review, but a quick review. So the first equation was f of a plus f of b plus f of c is equal to 700. Second equation is 3fa plus 3fc is equal to 1350. And the last equation is 4fb plus 4fc is equal to 1400. Now I'm going to say that f of a, f of b, and f of c. I'm going to say that f of a is x, this is y, and this is c. This is just for convention, but um, you can leave them as f of a, f of b, and f of c. And I'm going to use the matrix method. Now, First, we're going to find the determinant. So the determinant is given by all the, all the um, multipliers, all the factors that are next to the, um, all our variables. So this is given by the first equation, it's 1, 1, 1. The second equation is 1, 0, and 3. I mean, sorry, 3, 0, and 3. 3, 0, and 3. Uh, the coefficients, I meant to say, sorry. I couldn't find the word. And the last one is 0, 4, 4. 0 because there is no f of a, then there's 4, and then there's 4. So we solve this matrix by um, actually rewriting the first and second column. Oops. So first and second column, 3, 1, 3, 0, 1, 0, 4, and then we do our positive diagonals. So the 1 times 0 times 4 is 0, 1 times 3 times 0 is 0, 1 times 3 times 4 is 12, and then we do our 
negative diagonals, negative, negative, negative. This is positive, positive, positive. So the first one is 0 times 0 times 1 is 0. Negative 4 times 3 times 1 is negative 12. And then the last one is negative. 4 times 3 times 1 is also negative 12. So 12 minus 12 is 0. So this is equal to negative 12. And that is our determinant. <clears throat> now we're going to do the x determinant which basically we rewrite the matrix that we wrote before but only the second and third column and then over here on the first column where the x values are we write our solutions so these are 700 1350 and 1400 so we rewrite the first and second column 104 and then we solve the matrices positive diagonals 700 times 0 times 4 is 0 3 times 1400 looking in my notes here it should be 4200 1 times 1350 times 4 is 5400 then our negative diagonals which are uh, 1400 times 0 times 1 is 0 4 times 3 times 700 times negative is negative 8400 I think and then 4 times 1350 times 1 should be negative 5400 which these two cancel out so this should be equal to negative 4200 this is the determinant of x so we already have the determinant of x and d so x is equal to dx over d which is equal to negative 40 T2, negative 4200 divided by negative 12 which is 350 so f of a is 350 um, now I'm gonna do um, the determinant of y and solve it and the determinant of c and solve it but I'm just gonna go really fast by it uh, so you guys have it and you see it but I'm not gonna be explaining everything so it's gonna be really quick determinant of y rewrite the matrix skip the middle column because that's where the y is then the solutions go right there 1400 that is one ugly matrix 130 rewrite first and second column positive diagonals negative diagonals Forty two hundred cancel out. This is equal to minus three thousand. So we have dy. Y is equal to dy over d, which comes out to be two hundred and fifty. So we have f of e. Determinant of c. Rewrite matrix one three zero one zero four. But on the last column, write the solutions. Rewrite first and second column. Positive diagonals. 8400, 0 and 0. Negative diagonals. 0, minus 5400, minus 4200. So this is equal to minus 1200. So that means that we have the determinant the determinant of c so we can find c which is dc over d which is negative 1200 divided by negative 12 which comes out to be positive 100 and these are the forces that i got solving basically i have three variables found three equations with those three variables and then solved a system of equations with the method of my choice i chose the matrix method a lot of, I get a lot of hate in my channel for using the matrix method so much, but that's just my taste. Final answer.